All right, woke up this morning and sold the last of the things I need to get rid of. And uh, I didn't really get rid of everything. I'm still trying to sell that camera, the Nikon DA10 that I use for time lapses, because literally that's all I use it for, time lapses, and it's quite an expensive camera. And there's no reason I should just, you know, keep it around for just that. So getting rid of it, but a couple other last things, but I pretty much got rid of most of what I wanted to get rid of before I get rid of the van. So I'll just have to sell the rest of the stuff either in Whitehorse or in Vancouver. Most likely Vancouver. And now I'm making my way up north. Heading up uh, a long days of driving for the next few days for sure. So we'll get that started on a rainy, rainy Friday. Oh, stop for a little lunch, having some pho, and we're here at Slav Lake. Slave? Slave Lake? Not Slave Lake, that's all I know. But it's uh, the smaller of the two, also known as Lesser Slav Lake. So we're gonna go check it out, fly a little drone for a bit, because the sun finally came out. Oh, well, that was me trying to fly. The drone is crapped out again. DJI's terrible software engineers did a terrible job on that thing, and it just... Yeah, about every third flight I try to take, I try to fly my drone like every day, but every third day it just won't won't fly. And then I'll try and fix the problem, but it won't appear again. And then I don't know what it is. It just doesn't want to fly sometimes. Can't can't deal with it. Can't update it. Can't do anything. So you just gotta make the best of what you got. Two legs and a camera. So we're gonna do that. So this is our campground tonight. It is called Big Creek. It's established, it's clean. They even have somebody here running it. They have pit toilets, 
fire pits, the works, but it's still free. It's right on Peace River, and there's actually a creek running right through my personal little campground here tonight. So I got a good spot. It's really nice. Champ's loving having all this space. For dinner tonight, we're doing a little bit of burrito, this time with rice, beans, ground beef, and some mole sauce. Onions and, you know, lime and tomatoes and a little bit of spinach, shredded cheddar cheese, you know, the basics that you always have, but uh, that mole sauce really sells it. So sweet, but yet so, so savory. So good. The sun is setting like stupid late. It's about 11 o'clock right now and the sun is just finally set and uh, we're getting close to that midnight sun. So uh, yeah, this is the furthest north I've ever been and it's the most remote I've ever been. It's the most alone I've ever been. So I am a little scared and definitely like, I don't want to make it sound like I'm just some sort of fearless traveler. Like I do have fear. I am afraid of going into the unknown, but I'm also very excited about it. I'm excited to like, not only to see things I've never seen before, but also see how I am in places I've never been before, if that makes any sense. Kind of venturing into uncharted territory with myself and just, you know, in the physical world as well. So this is a, it's gonna be a big trip. It's gonna be something new, something very exciting. And uh, there's a lot of trips coming up and they've been just ideas for a long time. So testing myself on this one on the Arctic trip is a good way to know if I can actually do this, if I can be a world traveler. We'll see. All right, guys, good night.